everyone and welcome to this new series, Power to the Pricing People. There is so much going on in the wonderful world of pricing at the moment that we felt it was our duty at Flint Fox to break it down and bring it to you in bite-sized chunks every two weeks. Throughout the course of this series, we're gonna to bring to you news and information on the pricing world and things that could be impacting your business now and into the future. I'm Kath Brands and I'll be your host and I'm excited to go on this journey with you and celebrate the fabulous people behind the numbers inside of your organization. Power to the pricing people. Inflation, inflation, inflation. It's not new news, but let's talk about what's going on in your backyard. Just when we thought things were getting under control in the US, reports at the end of February, they would suggest otherwise. And it looks like more inflationary cost rises are on the horizon. There is this perfect storm brewing between supply chain, warehousing, and distribution costs. The excess inventory that is sitting inside of these distribution hubs is impacting the price of storage, and the knock-on effect that has onto the retail and the wholesale distribution industry is they're gonna to continue to face more price volatility in logistics and storage. Over in the UK, where inflation is at a 45-year high, grocery is the number one driver by the ongoing increases in inflation. Everyday items such as milk, sugar and oil have increased by nearly 40% in the last 12 months. In response, supermarket Waitrose is committed to spending £100 million in reducing the cost of everyday items of their own label brands in order to support households. This kind of pricing commitment means they're going to have to measure with absolute precision to ensure they don't go deeper than planned. But it also is cause for concern for consumer goods brands as they are now facing pressures from both the retail and consumer sectors in order to stay competitive and keep their prices in line with expectations. In more optimistic news, retail sales jumped 3% in the US in January, absolutely smashing expectations. This surge was led by consumers eating and dining out with a 7.2% increase. Meanwhile, both cars and furniture also saw an increase in sales. The same was also experienced in Australia with both the travel and hospitality industry seeing a 20% increase in sales year over year, nearly reaching its pre-COVID levels. Let's face it, Aussies love a cold beer on a hot summer's day. With so much pricing fluctuation in the market right now, it's never been more important to have absolute control of your pricing strategy. And at Flint Fox, we're an intelligent pricing platform that can enable you to do exactly that. We take the guesswork out of your pricing strategy to help you execute with precision and maximizing your profit and finding magic in your margins. Thanks so much for tuning in today. We look forward to continuing to bring you this series of Power to the Pricing People. For more information on the stories we've talked about today, please check out the blog on our website. Until next time, power to you pricing people.